There is no difference. Oh, members only. These were private one. Oh. Can you tell I don't wash my car? Welcome to the car wash. The car wash. Oh my god! That man scared the shit out of me. And what type of car wash are you looking at today? Um, <laughs> he sounds cute. The uh, $10 one. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you, you too. Ring, 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 ring. Mind you, hear me? <laughs> he talked, and I whispered to the camera. I was like, he sounds cute. <laughs> the cow. Oh my god, I'm going to kill myself because I hate seeing guys my age. It makes me nervous. <laughs> Caramel iced coffee. Cream and sugar? Yes, and four pumps of caramel. Okay, anything else? That's all. Thank you. you. Yay! Did I get it right? Yeah, you got it right. <laughs> Hopefully they get it right. This Dunkin' sucks. I know, but... I don't know, I always mess up your order. I always think it's vanilla for some reason. And I caught myself right now. I caught myself. So I was gonna say vanilla ice um, ice cream, <coughs> vanilla iced coffee. Let's just hope it's good. This Duncan sucks, but we're not driving to the other one. I like this camera. You like my camera? Like yeah, it. I want it. Well, what's I the difference with your camera? I want it. I got it. You're so funny. Yours is the Sony, no? Mhm. Mm Yours my camera, camera. what's it called? Whenever me and Eileen are filming, it'll stop filming after 30 minutes. It has like a 30 minute um, screen time. Oh, okay. So it's kind of annoying. Yeah. 
my one of my DSLRs does that. Pisses me off. Yeah, and it's frustrating because when we think like something funny happens, we're like, oh, it wasn't recording. It's <gasps> a new record. Oh, those guys at the car wash were freaking cute. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, here. The actually, the dude that um was helping me, he, he was low key kind of cute. He sounded cute. Mm -hmm. He, he looked kind of cute. But and then I don't know, there's a guy with curly hair. Do you like curly hair guys? Who'd have thought one day I'd be having this type of conversation with you? I hate men anyway, so it's not gonna happen. <laughs> so stupid. I do, mom. I really do. I don't know how I'm gonna get a boyfriend with that attitude because I, I really do hate men. Let me see. Oh, men are real as That came out nice and clean. Oh yeah, it's clean. It dirty. Oh, that would have been a nice shot. It would have, right? Yeah. See that? It's okay. Tu madre no piensa. <laughs> You're fine. It's fine. Here you go. My coffee. Oh, wait, I have gum. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome, baby. Ah. <laughs> wait, I like the song. Okay, bye, guys. Say bye. Bye. welcome to another video i'm so sorry i know i left you guys hanging i have not filmed in like a freaking year <sighs> so much has happened in the last year with one uh the big ones is i had a baby and i am going to film with him next that should be the next video it will be a i don't know if it'll go up before this one sorry so it's gonna be like a kind of like a life update for you guys for those interested a few of you have reached out to me via Instagram and I'm so grateful for you guys um, just want to appreciate you guys so much all the support that you have given me um, but today I wanted to film a kind of like what's in my car car review um, I did get a brand new car I'm so excited you guys it is the Ford Escape 2021 I upgraded I guess you can say from the Ford Focus 2008 so yeah, I'm a Ford girl, <laughs> if you had noticed. Um, but yeah, the previous car I had, like I said, was a 2008 Ford Focus. I loved that car so much. I had it forever. I got it in January 2009, and it was a 2008. And it already had, it was a certified pre-owned car. It had about 30,000 miles on it, I think. 30,000? 30, 30, I'm pretty sure it was 30,000 miles that it had on it. Um, but I loved that car and it served me so well. But it was time to get a new one. Um, it kept breaking down on me. Even though I kept up with the maintenance, I was really good about the oil changes. I never missed one. Tune ups, never missed one. But it's just other mechanical issues that it was having and I'm like no I'm not gonna put any more money into it it's it's just not worth it anymore so I finally got a new car and I'm so excited I'm gonna give you guys a tour of the inside um, I will show you guys that in a few but yep I just wanted to come on here say hi and share my new car um, humble brag is it or not bragging I don't know what you guys call it but I'm just really excited about it 
and you know it's like when people really bring you down <laughs> because somebody already scratched my fucking car somebody scratched my car on the side oh my god there's some a-hole in the neighborhood because they actually also scratched our truck car we have a, a ford flex um ford family <laughs> we have a ford flex and it was parked in front of the house and we woke up one morning and there was a nasty scratch on the side and it was on the passenger side so on the side of the sidewalk so somebody just walking by keep the shit out of it two and a half weeks later my car is parked in front of the house and they keyed my shit <sighs> i'm so upset i'm so so upset about it but good thing is it's not deep it's a very um very very surface scratch so i just had to get it buffed out but it's so annoying like why are people why why are people like that anyway moving on so yeah i'm excited new car i want to show you guys everything that's inside it what i carry things that i feel you should have in your car especially as ladies we should have in our car um so yeah let's jump right into that part here we go starting with the door here I have this pretty cute trash can and this thing has come in handy so much you guys it is so cute got it off of Amazon I keep it right in the door then I have an extra pair of gloves my mask and my parking pass for work let's get in because it's cold and people are driving by my here's a cluster panel here I love that I can control the music and volume and stuff. Hang up a call. This is pretty awesome. I love this. This is so cool. So let me push to start my car here. Step on the brake. Vamos. I love how that starts up. That is just so cool. There you go. So, I have this here. It's a magnet to hold up my phone. I'm just going to remove it because my phone won't actually stay up. So, that's kind of a bummer. So, let's start with here. My little junk area. I have a cord for my phone, of course. I have the extra refreshers gum I have a hand sanitizer from Dove it's, this works really nice and it feels so nice in the hands and this little bumblebee is in my Ariana crocheted for me so I keep her right here in the car how cute is this it is adorable I keep my little bee right here but she actually just like goes rolls around <laughs> So she stays here and this is a pokemon that elijah gave me and it's so cute because he actually checks to see every time he gets in the car he makes sure that this is in here please don't ask me the name the tail broke off he stands right there and i have this ollie clip i usually have the cable rolled up and i have it secured with an ollie clip water bottle and I have this mat right here covering the seat and it actually has come in handy because Ariana actually spilled soda this morning and right on here so nice to wipe it up vamonos instead of on my seat because I would have snatched her little butt and where's that and for like decor I have this cute little coaster macrame coaster how cute is this you guys i thought this was so adorable i got it off of etsy it's so cute and i did get this uh weather tech um coaster here oh it's kind of dirty in there but these are removable these i got off of amazon too ew gross and there you go but so that sits in there on this right on top 
And I have one in there too. That's so cute. And for here, I have this really cute macrame. I really don't know what this is. A person, a rainbow with a little bead. I don't know, but it's adorable. And I have this um, TikTok made me buy it. This mirror that you can see like your blind spots. It lets you see more. It's pretty good. You do have to get used to it though because what you see in here, the cars are actually a lot closer than they look in here. So I'm constantly having to check out my um, side mirrors because this does make the cars look a lot further than they are and they're actually pretty damn close to you. So that's one thing to keep in mind. Another thing that I got from my car was this drop stop that is um, popular came out at um, Shark Tank. You guys this is the best thing ever seriously like if I have my phone my phone constantly falls out but with this it's not going anywhere I mean it might fall forward that's a different story but if it falls out of my pocket it's just gonna go right there so that's pretty cool I really liked that here the center console nice leathery we have in here this uh, organizer i got off of amazon because the center console is actually just like a big empty hole and i don't like that so i bought this cute organizer for it inside we have the tiktok cleaning jelly this actually works really nice really nice it's a dust cleaning gel and it smells really good too I have a comb, another lotion, my charger for my watch and my phone, an extra charger, some makeup that's in there. And here I have a little pouch with change. I have a pencil, a ball pencil, a hand gel, chapstick. The two most important things here for safety. Everybody needs to have one of these. This is um, cracks your breaks your window if you're in an emergency, a car accident, and you need to get out of your car. Break the window, and with this you cut your seatbelt. So I had to get another one to keep in the back seat. And this is to measure your tire pressure. It's a digital reader. I really like that. And here, this actually came with a uh, drop stop. A nice little. Um, flashlight oh, it's pretty it's pretty powerful so I just keep that under here and I do keep toothpicks you'll be surprised how much you need a freaking toothpick and you see that here is connected to my garbage can I have another one back here for the kids this has been a lifesaver you guys life saver and here in the glove box a wipe to clean the panels and the dashboard kids masks first aid kit deodorant ladies always have one wet ones and in this accordion folder I keep important documents registration car insurance I do have a list of emergency contacts too in case we are in a car accident and no one's able to communicate what's going on there's a list of emergency contacts and a list of in my car literally only me and my kids fit in here or me the husband and maybe the boys that's it but not all f six of us can fit in here this really only sits five people so there's a list of everybody here lint rollers and a very adorable mini vacuum this is so cute you guys and it does work let me show you over here let's vacuum this up let's see uh oh oh damn I ran out of battery <laughs> but I promise it works really really good a lint roller because my daughters well we have a cat 
and she is a hairy hairy beast so the girls constantly come out with cat fur so yep that is in there so I'm gonna shut the car off now what I do like on the monitor here is that you can really customize this the background here so if you go into settings where is it display display the background of it this blue black this nice green this dark one day view oopsie so this is the day view I didn't like that because what upset me is that whenever we would go under a tunnel or something it would go dark and when we would come out it would go bright like I found that to be very distracting and I like the blue because it all like runs in together does that make sense or am I just anal I don't know but I like that part and I have it on night mode so it's auto which is depending on the light outside the screen will turn light or dark you have day where it's bright yeah see I don't like that and I have night so I just keep it on night mode I really like the night mode I have Apple CarPlay well if you have an Android it will be um, Android CarPlay but I have an iPhone so I don't know, I just think this is so cool. Coming from a car that didn't have this, this is a lot of fun. <laughs> and I have the Ford Pass Connect. So what is really cool too is my Focus had a remote starter on the um, key, key fob. The newer cars don't have, a key, have it on the key fob, at least mine didn't. But I like that it has, you see on my watch the Ford logo at in the top corner there that's so I can remote start my car so I can remote start it from either my Apple watch or from my phone which if I have my phone with me I can show you guys uh, I don't know if I left it in the house so I know here it is so on my phone it's right there the the app there. Focus. There we go. It's a Ford Pass. And safety check confirm you're not driving. Yes, I am not driving. And I can remote start my car, unlock it, or lock it. And it gives me any updates that if there's any maintenance that needs to be done, it'll tell me right here on my phone. So, which is pretty cool. I really like that. And I named her. Her name is Raven. And that is what she looks like on down but yeah it says that my phone is connected but when i do the car play in order to do the car play i should say i have to connect it with the cable and then it goes into car play where is that why won't why won't it do that without it being connected to the cable hmm interesting i don't know weird there you go. They're the only apps that I have connected. Hmm. Like here, the sunroof, moonroof, what y'all call it. So it can actually go further. Oopsie. It can go. If I hit it twice, it goes all the way to the back. So I really like that. That is just so cool. Again, coming from a car that didn't have that. It's awesome. And another thing that I like, I'm such a fucking nerd, but ah, I've always wanted that. A car that had a windshield wiper in the back. A rear windshield wiper. Such a freaking nerd, but I'm so excited for that. It's the little things, you guys. Seriously, the little things. And it does open, obviously, right? And it is mother effing cold today. It's like what 36 degrees in the city today in chicago i think that's how it goes that's all it opens which is still pretty awesome and i wouldn't want it open over the kids anyway 
but if I close, touch the button to close it, it'll close the window. Hit it one more time. It'll open there. Now let's just close it all up. Oops. Close the window. Can you tell I don't mess with that very often? I don't know how to do that. One more time. And it'll close all the way. So that is so cool. Again, I've never had a moon roof, sunroof. So it's seriously the little things. I do keep my sunglasses in here. These are very important because they are prescription sunglasses. And I cannot see without them. You have your lights here, standard, your visors. I did want to get a um, tissue dispenser for the visor. But I didn't like that every one I seen, it blocked the mirror. Like, ugh, that was annoying. And I guess you could have slid it, slid it over, but it just it wasn't working. So there's that. I like that. Check receipts for occupants. Me. I like that. You gotta double check for the little ones. It's kind of sad that that is there, but dark times put stuff away so there we go the back let me show you guys I have a mirror there so we can point that way <laughs> so I can see the baby obviously his car seat's not in here but this is the base for his car seat keep this empty I actually had his seat here but it, it was like tilted there wasn't enough space because Elijah's car seat this is the one he uses he's three so let's go back there and here I have this organizer for Elijah's stuff. Let me move this around actually. So he has some a toy in here. We have a disposable, not a disposable, reusable bag. I have his masks in here. I keep a water bottle in here for him. That boy is constantly thirsty. I do have some snacks in here for him. I had more, but he ate them. And I like this because if he he is a kicker, he's always kicking the back seat, so he can kick this and not my nice chair. I do keep a blanket in here for him. He's always complaining that he's cold, and I do like that the seats actually do move forward or back. I do keep an extra charger back here for the girls, for their phones. And this trash can here, she's kind of full. And I forgot to empty when we're at the car wash right now. Dang it. We have this here, protector, under Eli's car seat. Any mess that he makes, it, this is, catches it really nicely. And again, so it doesn't scrape or mess up the seat here. Nice. And this here, I have this nice trunk organizer. And here, what do I have? I think I have anything in there. No, but I keep an umbrella, a first aid kit. I do have um, a mat for changing Jacob. Um, if you don't know, I had a baby four months ago, and I just keep that here. I actually do have a portable potty for Elijah. I just hadn't put it in the car. Um, this is to clean the windows. It was a gimmick. Don't get it. Um, in this big box trunk organizer here, I am on the fence. I don't know if I really like it. But when I go grocery shopping, I do like to put the groceries in here. I'll take this out and put the groceries in there. But this is a vacuum that connects to the V12 port. And it actually reaches all the way to the front. And this is a AAA emergency kit. Jumper cables and other stuff. I am cold, so I'm shaking, guys. Sorry. And I do have uh, toilet paper. Again, we have a baby who's potty training. So... 
cute toilet paper and they have an extra blanket back here for Jacob and another one of those bags I am cold you guys so that is my baby Hey guys, I'm so sorry for the change in the quality of the video. My camera started acting up. It wouldn't allow me to record anymore. I don't know what the heck happened. But uh, one last thing I wanted to show you guys that is crazy to me is the actual car key itself. Look how freaking gigantic this thing is. This is freaking huge. I actually do have a case on it because I want to protect the key fob as, uh, as long as I can. This sucker, let me tell you guys, it took me like 40 minutes to put this together. This here, if you can see, you had to screw this in and it wouldn't align, oopsie, it wouldn't align through here. I couldn't get it through this. Should took me 40 minutes, you guys. Oh my God. But Anyway, but I do like my keychain. It's pretty big. It has this nice little loop. This is pretty small. Only like three fingers fit in it. But that's okay. And here we have the key fob. The keys to my house. Key to my mother's house. And an Apple AirTag in case I lose my damn keys. But how can you lose something this big? But your girl has lost her keys already. Don't tell nobody. But yep. So what what's pretty cool too is there is a sensor in the key fob that automatically unlocks the driver door. I thought that was so cool. Freaking nerd alert. But a real quick safety tip. Keep your keys in your pockets. For those of us that have push to start buttons, do not keep the key in your um what's it called i've seen my brother do this and my husband does it a lot he takes the key and he puts it in the cup holder or in this part don't do that because especially those that live in the carjack capital of the country chicago keep your damn keys in your pockets don't leave them anywhere else okay it's just a safety tip keep your damn keys in your pockets they could take your car but they ain't gonna get very far good luck because you ain't got the key but yeah so that's it for today's video i really hope you guys enjoyed it um thank you guys so much for watching i truly truly appreciate it i'm gonna go inside because my baby is calling for me but um all right guys until next time bye